The confirmation of the government's granting of a 75-year lease of the Northeast Queen's chain to Cabot St. Lucia generated a firestorm on social media and local talk shows. The debate on the matter became far more passionate following News Force's broadcast Thursday of a report featuring long-term occupant and leaseholder Marjorie Lambert, who says she fears imminent eviction. I believe government, especially the women in cabinet, they are women just like me. They are ladies just like me to do this kind of thing. The reaction of the public prompted acting Prime Minister Guy Joseph to call into Radio 100's Out Goes In on Friday morning. In the case of Madri, what I know from the cabinet standpoint is that there have been negotiations and discussions and a few options have been put on the table. Among the options that have been considered is option to relocate to the further end of the beach and some compensation being given and a proper access being created and also additional facilities like toilets and other things that are necessary for this. Then you, you also have the option of how, what, what Cabot's role is going to be in the process and what the government's role is going to be in that arrangement. Minister Joseph was quizzed on the status of Miss Lambert and her restaurant given the 75-year lease to Cabot. We don't believe that if somebody has been established somewhere and operating a business that you can just displace the person without any due consideration. Cabot St. Lucia has since issued a statement dated Friday 14th August committing to the continued beach access and to the establishment of a public facility at Kazabar. The developer further promises to work towards the preservation of existing businesses in the area and to adhere to the established rules for operating in archaeologically sensitive areas. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.